Good morning and welcome to Salento, one of the most beautiful towns in all of Colombia. And today, on our first day, we're gonna do the heaviest thing that you can do when you're here, and that is hike to the Cocora Valley. You have been here before, right? Yeah, yeah, one year ago. One year ago, she was here. She told me yeah. that this area of Colombia is her favorite area in the whole country. So you're gonna take the one at nine, I guess? What time is it now? <laughs> ah, so we need to wait half an hour. Not to go. Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Why do I say bienvenidos? Bienvenidos means welcome. Sometimes, buenos and bienvenidos, I just mess them up in my head. Si, el ultimo sale a las seis. Ah, yeah. So, so to return here, you. Well, actually, I can just show you guys the, the schedule of the times. So do, do we need to pick a time to return or any time? But we can also take the one at 4 p.m. Ah, okay, so you, so you buy to go and to come back. You, they don't sell only to go because they don't want you to stay in the park, I guess. But uh, but you don't have to pick a time beforehand. So you just go back with whatever uh, Jeep is returning at that moment. Okay, so we got the tickets to go to Kokora Valley. And uh, this is the only thing you need to pay for to go to the valley. Because to enter the valley, there's no entrance fee or anything. So uh, about $2 to go to the Kokora Valley. That's really cheap. Okay, so the jeep was full, so uh, me and Maria we have to stand the whole drive, but uh, they told us it's really good because you get the best views, and I can imagine because look, you can already just see the whole town, when you're inside you can't see much, you just see the other person right in front of you, look I'll show you, so, uh, so I'm very looking forward to it, this man yeah, this is be my companion. We got the bag here, and we're off. Oh, this is so cool! I'm so glad we're standing. We're leaving beautiful Salento tomorrow. We're gonna have a resting day, a calm day, where we're just gonna check out Salento for you guys. I, uh, I will make a vlog of that too. But today. Gonna be an adventure. go any further we have to hike look you can get horses there's uh, lots of places where they rent out horses but uh, to take a horse into the, the valley is gonna cost you a lot of money so uh, we're just gonna hike quanto cuesta un cavallo para entrar el Cocora eh, Valley. Ellos le explican bien, sin ningún compromiso. ¿Listo? Sí. Ellos son los caballitos y sí, sí, le explican bien. Sí, gracias. Sí. 
¿Cuánto cuesta una caballo para entrar en eh, ¿Cuántas Fer? personas son? Como dos. ¿Dos? Hay recuerdos de una hora, hora y veinte, hora y cuarenta. ¿Una dos, hora? Una hora. Hay uno que es una hora, veinte minutos. Sí. Es el mirador de las alas ¿Sí? e ir hasta el río. Ese por los dos, ciento veinte mil. So it's uh, 120,000 pesos for two people, so 60,000 pesos for a one and a half hour on horse. 60,000 pesos is like 15 dollars, so it's not that expensive if you really think about it. We were still gonna hike because uh, Maria likes hiking and uh, it's not that far, I think. I mean, it's not that... It is far, it is three hours, okay, so, but, <laughs> but we're gonna do the hike anyways. If you're here and you feel like horseback riding, then uh, you take the jeep here and then in this little town they have a million horses for you waiting to, uh, to ride you there. Let's hike! This town is so, so cute, right? Look, there's a little map. Of the, the ferry. Tres horas es Miradores de las Palmas, sí, y regresar. Y el de cinco reserva a Caime, eh, los Colibris y regresar. Recomendación: puentes colgantes, mal estado, pasarlos uno por uno. ¿Entendieron? Sí. Oh, yes. uh, cross the bridge one by one, please. Okay. Look, they have a little cute market here, and uh, the most amazing view because look at that. If I look at it, I can barely believe it's real. And I bet you think the same because even on camera it looks incredible. This is uh, the reason why so many tourists go to Salento. Not just because Salento is a beautiful town, but because from Salento you can easily go here. The ride was less than an hour, I think maybe half an hour, right? And uh, yeah, it seems uh, like the highlight of my trip. Look at that, a cute street food market. Oh, that was good. You're good. So, I know I told you guys that it would be free to enter the park, but it is 5,000 pesos, which is like a little bit more than one dollar, so it's not too bad. And uh, you do get these amazing letters where you can take a, a picture and then you have the beautiful Colombian flag in the background. So what makes this valley so special is the palm trees. You can only find this type of palm trees right here in the Kokura Valley and nowhere else in the world. These uh, are very tall. They go till uh, 50 meters. Some of them go even taller than 50 meters, so around 50 meters tall, which is really incredible. And it makes for a spectacular view. Look, they're scattered all around this area and uh, I mean, I've been here for an hour now, but I still can't believe that this is real, the thing that I'm looking at right now. It's also illegal to cut down these palm trees. They're protected. That's actually the reason why the government of Colombia started or founded this national park. It was to protect these palm trees because uh, they're very rare. And uh, 
if people just start cutting them down to make some products or uh, use it for another way then uh, before you know it there is no palm trees like this left in the whole world and that would be very sad <laughs> Okay, so we have reached the second <laughs> viewpoint and uh, it's, it's getting a little bit uh, cloudy. Internet said that uh, the Kokora Valley has rainfall almost every single day. So that's why I brought my rain jacket and uh, we're expecting it to start raining very soon. But uh, the vlog must go on. We're gonna try to go a little bit higher, see if there's something there. And if there is not, then... Uh, this was definitely worth it. Look how amazing this series of special palm trees. You can only see them here in this place, in the whole world. That makes it feel like a, an amazing experience. <laughs> So we have reached the end of the trail. It ends here at a place called uh, Finca de la Montaña. This is uh, the Finca. It's, uh, it's just a, a normal house and uh, the fence is locked. So I'm not even sure if you can go in, but uh, it looks beautiful. There's lots of flowers around and uh, you get a nice view from here, but is it worth it? Well, in my opinion, it's only worth it to go this far if you really love hiking. Because uh, you have the first viewpoint and the second viewpoint. And uh, in those viewpoints you can see the beautiful palm trees that are so typical of this valley. But right here, as you can see, there is no such palm trees around. So that's why I came down to uh, the second viewpoint again. Look, it's all foggy now, so the palm trees look extra mysterious. I think this is the perfect place to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you're in Colombia, then this is definitely a must see. It's uh, one of the highlights of my Colombia trip. Anyways, see you on the next vlog. Stay safe, stay awesome. Ciao, ciao.